Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Shogun Showdown, shall we? This is a deck building roguelike that I can't wait to play, and it is now available on PlayStation and Xbox. I'm playing on PlayStation 5. Let's fire it up for the first time. Welcome, brave soul. So I can move left with L2, move right with R2, and push triangle to turn around, okay? So uh, to continue, practice moving and turning around. So looks like I have an arrow with five arrows remaining, or I have a ranged attack with five arrows that does two damage. And I have uh, two swords that do two damage that I can use three times, maybe. I'm not exactly sure if I'm interpreting that right. So you can see there's a... I'm standing in the middle of enemies. And I can change the way I'm facing. And then I can kind of move by hopping here. Looks like those might take turns to move around. And attack Q. Um, select tiles with the left stick. Um, and to continue, add both tiles to the queue. Add them to the attack queue by pushing X. So, um, let me see, can I... Now they want me to move over here and attacking. So if I push square, I attack in the direction I'm facing like that, okay? And then they want me to move over here. Um, info mode, R1, toggle info mode, and navigate with the stick, okay? Um, oh, okay. So if you push R1, you can get info on anything. You could see the Wanderer, you could see Swirl. Oh, okay, so Swirl actually just attacks ahead and behind. And then arrow goes the way you're facing, okay? Then they want us to jump over here. Strike down the practice dummies, okay? So, uh, can I, I guess what I need to do for that is, hmm, something like this, and then fire. Oh, I need to do enough damage to kill them both. Okay, no problem. Combat is turn-based. Performing one of the following actions triggers a turn. Moving, adding a tile to the attack queue, attacking. Whoa, okay. So adding something to your attack queue takes a turn? That's interesting. I didn't expect that. Let's see. Um, defeat the enemy. Alright, so... One, that's a turn. Two, that's a turn. You could see... Oh, but they have to add two, so it makes sense. So it's kind of cool because it's like procedurally, you can see how if you're iterating on the Slay the Spire format, you have horizontal movement, which is a complete change to that particular you know, turn-based deck building roguelike. But also in many games like that, you could see the enemy's intentions and they only do one thing per turn. In this case, you kind of don't know their intentions, then you reveal what you're doing, and then they reveal maybe one in the queue of what they're doing, and then you can respond, and then there's like a chain of back and forth to kind of complicate that decision-making. Um, I'm going to move up. Okay, so they moved in front of me. They're actually going to attack. I want to see what happens if I just move away. Um, well, let me see what their attack is. Strike to sell directly ahead. A common swordsman, but their dedication... So the Shogun's cause should not be underestimated. So I'm actually going to just run away. And then he has to miss. And then I can like follow this guy. And then now I can do my attack. Okay, and he's dead. Rearranging. You can freely rearrange the tiles in the attack queue. Go up to your queue and rearrange with left and right. Okay. Rearrange them. Okay, that's kind of cool. 
Removing. You can freely remove tiles from the attack queue. Oh, okay. You can skip a turn by waiting. Waiting can be very useful. Okay. Strike them down. Oh, okay. Um... This guy's going to turn around? Is that what his movement is? Alright, I need to turn around. So he's going to hit me. I'll just jump back. Actually, let's practice removing. Let me get this out of here. Oh no, I, I can't fire twice because I only have... Okay. I'm going to fire. Even if it just wastes a turn. Whatever. Um, ah, I'm going to get hit. I'm... No, if I fire, he dies first. Okay. Looks like we get to act first. Okay. So I just only lose up one action. Cool down. Oh, okay. So that's not how many instances you get. That's how long it takes for cooldown. After using a tile to attack, it'll take some turns to recharge before it can be used again. I see. Defeat them. All right. So... Again, um, we'll just do everything and kill this dude. And then move over here. Turn around. I can't even add it to the queue, though. It's going to wait. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move in so he has to attack this tile. And then move away while I'm just kind of waiting for my cooldown. I'm just going to fire. I'm going to put that in my queue. Just keep it there for now. And he wants to move up. Just going to wait. Move in. He's going to attack. I'll move back. I'll move up. Add this to the queue. Um, I'm going to move in. You can swap position with an enemy by moving toward it when facing. Swap has a four turn, uh, turn cooldown. Oh, okay. Um... Nice. One last op uh, fight. An opportunity to practice swamping. I suppose so. Um, I'm still going to kill this guy. So if I swamp, instead of just jumping back, he still misses, but I'm adjacent. That's kind of cool. He can't, like, hop away from me. You completed your training. Good luck. You're darn right I did. It's just but a taste of what I can do. Alright. Um, there's an archive. Okay. Gives you information. There's a shop and there's go. I don't have any money, so... Well, I do have ten. What do I spend at the shop? Oh, you spend skulls. Okay. Um, so let's go. The Wanderer. Special ability can swap position with an enemy in front of her by moving forward. Okay. Let's go. Um, actually, I guess, can I switch to somebody else? No. Uh-huh. Bamboo Grove. Let's go. All right. All right, so there is... Who is this guy? Twin Tachi. They stop at nothing to strike down enemies, even at the risk of hitting their allies. Oh, that's funny. Uh, we can use that against them, I know. Uh, I'll spin around and just fire at this guy before they can do anything. Um, I'll add this to my Q. And they have three hit points, so um, I'll just kind of move back. Just wait, 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 add it, and this will kill him. And we'll just kind of wait, wait. They want to move forward, fine, wait. So 
So this guy is going to attack me now. I Normally I would swap, but I'm going to be in range. I'll be between them, and I won't be able to get out of the way of that two damage from that guy. And I don't think I can queue up and hit him fast enough, so I'm just going to step back. And we'll just take this guy down. Wait. Oh, ouch. That's embarrassing. Wait. Uh, we will swap. Oh, that's right. They hit in both directions, so swapping is no good against them. However, um, he did kill his buddy. <laughs> Let's hope I heal a little bit here. Um, all right. Wait. Kill. Q. Turn around. Fire. Cleared. I did not heal, and now I feel terrible. All right, Shadow Dash. Dash forward through target, stop and get the first empty cell behind them. No effect if the cell is empty. If no empty cell is available. So you can, in this way, you can dash through multiple targets. I like it. What's the other option here? Back charge. Dash backward and strike the first target behind. Uh... I'm going to try Shadow Dash. Just a positioning thing. Alright, Bamboo Grove. Who's this little guy? Spike Charger. Clad in specially crafted spiked armor. They charge at enemies using their body as a deadly weapon. Well, I don't approve of that. I'm honestly just going to kill Spike Guy. Actually, wait. If I queue this up and I turn around, this should kill them both, right? Indeed. Okay. I'm going to queue this up. Turn around. I'm just going to wait, and then this guy's going to want to hit me. But what I'm going to do is use my dash charge, and then he'll kill his buddy. I think he... Oh, no... He didn't damage himself. Spike guy damaged him. I'm going to cue this in. Add that. Turn around. I'm actually going to go up here um, and remove this. And just shoot that guy. And then add this. Add this. I want the money. And I will... I need to change my cue order. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. All right. Um, add the arrow. Um, I will simply dash through this turkey. Add that. Um, I'm going to turn around and do that. Add that. I'll just use this. So, we do damage to that guy. Q, attack. Oof. I gotta start paying attention more to the fact that there's a wave. I would have just queued up more stuff right there. It's not a huge deal. All right, this guy wants to hit me. Um, ah, I messed this up. Killed the guy, but... Could have done a better job right there. Obliterated. 
free play plus three cooldown. Adding the tile to the attack queue does not advance the turn. Wow. So basically what's going on here is that I can upgrade one of my abilities, but it increases the cooldown tremendously, but it doesn't advance the turn. I think dash is great for that because it's like there could be an emergency where I need to dash and I just want to add it to the queue. There we go. I'm fighting Dice K, the Dasher. Ha! A worthy opponent. Add it. Add it. What is this thing that he's doing? Known for his lightning speed and deadly swordsmanship, Dice K has been the Shogun's trusted messenger long before his rise to power. He has a summon he wants... Oh, he wants to summon somebody. Well, that's not cool. I'm just going to move ahead, and I'm going to give him everything I got. Okay. How far does your ability go? All right. Oh, God. I, I pushed circle to kind of cancel what I was looking at instead of just pushing R1 again and it passed the turn. That's embarrassing. Anyway... Oh, God. I am not reading this correctly. I'm taking damage all over the place. Why can't I dash through that guy? Can you only swap if you're facing that way? Oh man, I was counting on being able to swap. I just waited. I would have turned around. Ugh. No, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get killed right here. I gotta use this. <laughs> I'm gonna die otherwise. I gotta kill that idiot. He's just crushing me. I don't... It's like, is he going to dash all the way? Yes. Okay. Lame. I'll tell you what. Getting my head around this. I thought that was going to be easy. Uh, his ability to dash and, and pince you behind between two dashing enemies. My dash charge ability didn't swap if they're on the back tile, which is where they were hanging out. And now I've learned the hard way that you can't swap unless you're facing, it looks like. Um, so, let's, I guess, restart. Okay. Oh, God, I keep doing that. Mm, keep trying to swap on that guy. Just got to drop back. I'll try a charge.
I got something. Oh. Ugh. For some reason, I didn't think he'd be able to go do that fast enough. Oh, he's going to take my coin. Well, that was not what I intended. Ah, I'm gonna get hit by this guy. Blah, 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 blah. Plus one upgrade slot, minus one cooldown. So we can make something go faster. Um, if anything, it's probably I want my bow to go faster. All right, this guy's a jerk. Ah, oh, I did that in the wrong order. Wasting my time. Got to take care of that guy first. So what I'm going to do is get close to this guy, add this, and then I'm going to swap with him so he can't charge me. Add this. Add this. Turn. All right. did it wrong. I needed to be facing the other direction. I'll take the damage from this guy, at least. It's better than getting hit by the other dude. Oh, he has the same attack as me. I just wasted my time. There's nothing I could do here. I thought I was being clever.
Uh, man, I'm getting brutalized. I got to tell you what. I uh, <laughs> There are times when you're playing this where you just can't believe that the turns sneak up on. Like, the sequencing is the key. And I'm just so bad at it right now. Um... Uh, let me just remove this. Oh, I had that card I didn't use. I had a power-up I could have used. Don't know if that would have helped. Probably would have. So they don't pick up the money, which is kind of cool. You can get it. I didn't take damage that time. I'll tell you what. Um, having an extra attack, I think, is going to be huge. I can't do this fast enough. These dudes are just brutal. so much right there to not take damage. That was dumb. Oh, forgot who I was dealing with. Totally forgot. Well, I really hope that this thing will heal me. Plus one damage, plus one cooldown is insane. Um, yes, yes, please. That's what we need. Heal three hit points. Okay, yes, yes, these are very good items. So let's pay attention to everything. So I'm slowly getting better at this game. Let's see if I can get there. One. Two. Uh, we're going to swap. He's not using his bell, which is kind of surprising. Man, he changed his, like, AI pattern so much um, to not dash. Maybe that's the secret. Like, you just need to stay close to this guy. But this time, he was a joke. We crushed him that time. All right. Um, plus one damage, plus one cooldown. Uh, I'm going to put it here. Because... I like having one that does four that's, you know, maybe an insta-kill, but I need to have quick attacks just in case for a little teeny guys. And we get to go to the cooldown upgrade and uh, warring shop, or the enchant upgrade and guarding shop. 
Um, yeah, cooldown. So... We can do minus two cooldown on something for 20 coins, or um, I can buy a sniper skill. Plus one damage when attacking from a distance of four cells or more. That's kind of cool, but um, I'm going to... I could just make this every turn, or I could speed this up. I honestly like the idea of um, just having that be at every single turn. All right, and now we're going over to the Whispering Cave. So we've got three waves of bad guys to fight. You can see this guy has four hit points, so we definitely want to give him the old treatment with this. But we have good buddy that we want to kill first. So Shogun Showdown is available on PlayStation and Xbox now. And I'd love to know what you think of this game so far. I'll tell you what, I um, had a mental block that was causing me to be bad at the sequencing of turning around, of moving and everything. But as I died and got better at understanding the game. I'm really, really enjoying it and the nuance. It is completely, in my mind, a new take, a fresh take on the deck building roguelike because of how the strategic positioning, sequencing, ordering of moves, and, you know, enemy positioning all matters. It's just a, a very, very tactical game that causes you to have to put more in your mind and think further ahead perhaps in in ways that I wasn't expecting but I'm really enjoying it now that I've got my feet under me as it were and I'd love to know what your impressions are let me know in the comments below what you think and I want to say everyone thank you so much for watching I'll check you next time take care